to receive the right counsel, which is the counsel of God, we need to wait. Psalm 106 verse 13 talks about that. You know, the psalmist tells how the children of Israel, they did not choose to wait. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel. Now that's the word. They did not wait for his counsel. Always wait for counsel, God's counsel. If you need the counsel of God, then you're not going to be in a hurry. You're not going to just work against a countdown of, you know, a few hours or a day or two. You need to wait. You know, that has to be a practice throughout the Bible. Psalm 27, 14, uh, you know, the Bible talks about wait on the Lord and you will have good courage. Isaiah 40, verse 31, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Always make it a practice to wait on God in prayer, in fasting, in seeking God. You know, sometimes, you know, God also puts some people in our lives who are quite mature in God, who walk with God, who have had definite results in their life by hearing from God and who have a good testimony. We can always have counsel from such people. First Kings chapter 12 talks about a king who had the opportunity. He is in fact the son of Solomon and he had the opportunity to listen to elderly people who gave him advice. I want you to read that later. And that is given in verse 13. So they gave him the kind of counsel in verse 7 of how to actually make the nation into a united nation because there was a huge crisis, almost a civil war that was about to happen. But he never listened to those elders that God had put in his life. It's important that uh, we need to understand God speaks to us through his word, in our spirits, but also through elders who have really walked with God and who, are, who have a good track record of hearing from God and walking in his ways. And one of the greatest blessings of having right counsel is you never get to regret later for the decision that you made.